Hi, I'm Mr. Amofo. I'm the head of economics at Hatch, and this is GCSE Economics. So, I'm going to tell you why you should study GCSE Economics. Well, first of all, I firmly believe that as a GCSE, it's very academic. In fact, even looking ahead, it's the most popular A level subject taken by students um, studying at Russell Group University. So, why not be ahead of the game and take it at GCSE? Economics is very much a social science that combines elements of maths, history, um, psychology as well. Also, if we talk about economics, it's one of the more relevant subjects at this current point in time. If we look at the news stories right now on the cost of living crisis, on the impact that COVID-19 has had on our economy, also Brexit as well. As a student, you get to study all these things in economics and you also get to study some of the reasons why governments take the decisions that they do. Ultimately, when it comes to economics, we study human behaviour, the decisions, the choices that governments, individuals, producers all make um, given the scarcity of resources we have in our world right now. So, in terms of the course itself, we study here at Hatch the OCR Economics course at GCSE. And the course is broken down into two specific components and both components will be externally assessed in two exams um, once you're done with the course. So, component one, students will look at the very foundations of economics, the purpose and the nature of economic activity. But the very central aspect of component one is how prices are determined and we specifically look at key elements such as supply and demand. Component two, called international and national economics. We look at the national economy as a whole in the UK, as well as the significance of the global economy. Primarily, however, we focus on key government objectives such as economic growth, inflation, unemployment and trade. Also, we look at how the government also manages the economy. For example, right now where we have high levels of inflation, what is Rishi Sunak and his cabinet going to do about that scenario? So we look at how governments manage the economy. Finally, if you want to know what I can do with a GCSE in economics, well, you can become an accountant, a financial advisor, you can work in the city as an investment banker, or you can become an economist if you want to, and you can also work as a data analyst because we do a significant amount, not a significant amount, but quite a bit of maths as well. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this has given you an idea of what to expect from GCSE Economics.